my question was, um, I was born and raised catechized Catholic, all is, is well there. Um, definitely was taught the three conditions for a sin to be mortal. Recently, however, I was reading an article from a very conservative priest, and he was discussing this as well. But he gave the example that if someone would take a pencil from an office, and they knew that it was wrong to take the pencil. Their conscience told them it was wrong to take the pencil, but they did it anyway. That even though from, a, I guess, a material perspective, it could be a venial sin, that would become a mortal sin for that person because they have now gone against something that they fully knew was wrong. So if that is indeed the case, then I question in the catechism where it talks about deliberate venial sins. So if I could get some clarification on that example, that would be very helpful. It's a great question. I've had people ask me that before. And uh, yeah, it's all very clear in the catechism you've learned from a child, for example. But uh, for it to be a venial sin, it has to be deliberate, right? So the difference between venial and mortal is not uh, indeliberate versus deliberate, but rather the gravity of the matter. So if it's light matter, like stealing a pencil, for example, then it's always going to be a venial sin, right? Um, So so it's not a question. So for, and if it's not deliberate, then it's not a sin, even though materially it might be, right? Let's say you, in leaving church, took someone else's purse, it looked just like yours, you stole, right? Yeah. Are you guilty in any way? No. Did you commit any sin subjectively in terms of guilt? No. You still have to return the purse, of course, uh, but... But if it's not deliberate, then there is uh, no sin incurred in that sense. Anything that is venial could become mortal. The mortal has to have the grave aspect to it. Is that correct? That's correct, generally speaking. Now, you could say, well, by stealing this, St. Augustine wax is about, I stole the apple, but really it was the expression of my rebellion against God and that I wished to reject him and his law above me. So in that case, it's not just stealing the apple, but... I wish to make this uh, direct act of hatred of God. So if you wanted to add some internal uh, mortal sin, which is grave and matter to a venial sin, someone could, for example. But um, but yeah, just in, in terms of your question, no, a venial sin never becomes a mortal sin. Um, and that sense of just the matter of the sin.